Please welcome back Andrew Ross Sorkin and his guest, the founder and co-CEO of Netflix, Reed Hastings. Thank you, sir. Reed Hastings doesn't need an introduction. Uh, he is the co-founder of Netflix, and um, he has now been at this event with us a handful of times, most recently in 2019, the last time we were all Pre here Pre -COVID. together in person. And since then, the media landscape has shifted remarkably. And one of the phrases uh, that is used in the entertainment business is what's called the Netflix correction. Everybody was chasing you for all of these last several years as they've all tried to jump into the streaming space and spending an enormous amount of money doing it. And now everybody's asking some big questions about the model and does it work? And what does it look like? So let's go there. Where I wanna start this is when I saw you in 2019, I don't know if you knew that this was a coming because we talked about the competition out there. You used to talk about the competition was sleep. You would compete with sleep, which is probably still true to some degree. But I wonder how much you think that has actually changed now, and you actually now think about Disney, and you now think about Apple, and you now think about Amazon, and you think about HBO, and that whole dynamic. I stayed up late last night watching episodes of our new show Wednesday, <clears throat> so we still compete with sleep. Um, but you know, broadly, entertainment, we compete with TikTok, with Fortnite, uh, with HBO, with Disney. Um, but Four years ago when I was here, nobody was in streaming. Like, you know, we did streaming and they did linear and broadly, there was Hulu, but broadly that was the lines. And um, Bob Iger, to his credit, um, saw back in 2017 or so that <clears throat> Disney's future was gonna have to be streaming. Um, and he moved, uh, we had been paying him a lot of money on a pay one deal and he moved to cut that off um, and to build the Disney Plus service super aggressive pricing, and then um, they exploded. And because of their enormous success, everyone else, Paramount, et cetera, piled in. Um, and yeah, it's become a, a brawl now in a streaming of premium content. And then of course, we've got, you know, on the user-generated side, tremendous competition there, and on the gaming side, and then sleep. Right. So a lot of competition. But what do you think about the fact that the market cap of this company, I mean, we were at $700 billion at one point, well, $700 stock price, but the, <laughs> well, go ahead. And here we are, and people have sort of reevaluated all of this, the metrics with which they measure your yeah. success. Yeah. The idea that subs, the, 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 the race for more subs is the way to do this. And now people are actually looking at the underlying economics in a new way. Yeah, well, I would say uh, investors have always been pretty thoughtful about focusing on earnings potential. And um, you know that's been the core focus, and that's the core focus for us, which is you know engagement. How do we please consumers? Revenue and operating income. Um, I would say media trying to serve you, trying to serve consumers. Talk about subscribers because it's easier to understand than 32 billion of revenue, right. you know, et cetera. So the simplification, you know, in the press is streaming wars, subscriber battles, and that tells a good story. So that, that makes sense. But in, investors have really been quite thoughtful right. about earnings potential and what they work were down <clears throat> by more than half. Uh, and that's because they're scared that the competition may, you know, have a really big impact and beat us. And we have to show, no, actually, that, you know, we're going to have the most incredible set of, right. of films, um, Slumberland, Glass Onion. Again, the show Wednesday I was watching last night, which is the biggest English language show we've ever had in our history just launched. But don't you think um, that this has caused a reevaluation for you? I mean, we used to talk about advertising, the idea that you would ever put advertising on Netflix. And you, I think, stone-faced would say to me, absolutely not, never. We would never do that. And yet here we are, and it's...